is going on? Welcome to episode 120 of the Nintendo PowerCast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, on what's probably not going to be an NPC mini. We got not only Player 2, Player 3, and Player 4, the Nintendo Shack has taken over. We got Jason, Donnie, and Caro. Jason, how are you, dude? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Donnie, how are you? Greetings, Koopalings. <laughs> Suffering from a little uh, a little chest cold, but I'm here. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Not again. I couldn't do it again. Couldn't not, do it to you twice. Not again. And Caro, how are you? Hey, I'm here. I'm not in the chat, but I'm here. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is an unofficial Nintendo podcast. The official one has a different name. Uh, if you want to get yourself a free book <laughs> from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. There you can pick up Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, Console Wars, so many good books to listen to. That's audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. Go to n64josh.com slash OPC and check out their chairs. The Master Series, Grandmaster Series, back to school sale right now. I believe the chairs are... F- Thirty dollars off right now, and if you use my link, you save an additional ten. All right, go to n64josh.com/opc. You'll automatically save ten at checkout. All right, I think I think that's uh, that's it for the ads. Let's get to the announcements. Hey, listen. All right, we do the show live, twitch.tv slash n64josh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I want to say what's up to everybody in chat. Yikum, Hate Zero, Nightcrawler, Rust Belt Kid, Benji, Kirby Geek, Pudding, Hyrule, and Julian. Thank you guys for being here. If you're just lurking, thank you so much. We do appreciate the lurk. Guys, my book is coming out Sunday at 6 p.m. I'm going to be doing a live stream on Twitch, doing a podcast. Podcast like q and A. I'm gonna be taking questions from the chat and even putting some people in Discord and taking questions live, just like that. So we're gonna have a good time. If you're interested in learning about podcasting, you want to check this out. We'll be I'll be giving away some of the books, and uh, the books will go up for sale on Sunday. There'll be a ebook and an audio, uh, also an audio version, and then there's the super duper super duper bundle. That's going to have tips and tricks from even even some of these guys sitting here with me. So, you know, so pretty pretty good stuff. I'm really excited to share it with you. So tune in for that. N6, Twitch.tv slash N64Josh, 6 p.m. Sunday night. We'll see you then. All right. I got, uh, I got a new stream schedule, guys. I'm going to try this Ooh. for a little bit. Starting tomorrow morning, I'm going to start streaming five days a week, Monday through Friday, at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So crazy. Yeah, but <laughs> still insane. I, I just I just I just want to see how, how, how it goes, how it goes just to have a real steady like <sighs> schedule every day. I'll be able to go for about an hour and a half, two hours every morning. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But that's going to start. We also got first look tomorrow and we're going to be looking at uh, I believe the game is called Treadnoughts, which I know zero about right now. We're going to be looking at the Monster Hunter demo that's out and <laughs> Uh, there's a few other demos that we'll talk about here shortly. So, uh, with that, let's get to, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to mix things up a little bit. We're going to get to know these guys before we get to the news and sales and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, let's get to know the Nintendo shack. You guys, you guys ready? You guys ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. So which, so Nintendo Shack is a podcast. You're going to find it on iTunes, Google Play. It's part of a a podcast network, right? That's um, correct. Donnie, break yeah. break it down for us. Tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, it's the PSVG Podcast Network, which is everywhere. Spotify, Apple Tunes, Google, whatever. Anything you're doing, we're there. I have yet to find one that we're not on. Um, and the PSVG Podcast was like our original starter show. And the idea was we wanted to bring fans of all consoles together and have like a you know around the horn so we had xbox folks we had nintendo folks we had playstation folks and pc players even though our pc player jason doesn't really play pc um and then it just kind of grew like as we started doing it we had friends that were like hey that's cool we'd like to help i'd like to do it and i like to do it and me being the person that would never wanted to turn anybody away our team just grew and grew 
and grew. So we then started siphoning off into other shows. So we started the Nintendo Shack really out of like out of a joke. We used to tease each other because back in the day, this was pre-Switch, the the uh, the Wii U day was not too hot, and it was a lot of Donnie defending how great Mario Bros. U was to everybody making fun of me. And I was like, guys, you got to play Ali Ali. It's great. Like everybody was just making fun of me. So, um, you know, that was like, like the only it. third party game, right? Ollie Ollie. <laughs> exactly. <Is> that... <laughs> so we had the Empire, which is our Xbox crew. You know, they called themselves the Empire because they're Star Wars fans. So when they called themselves the Empire, our PlayStation crew dubbed themselves the island. So I said, well, if you guys are the Empire and you guys are the island, then what does it make us? And uh, Kevin, our PSVG host proper, goes, you guys are in the shack. So turning uh, uh, water into wine. Nintendo Shack, baby. Shack Life. We'll, we'll just take this and own it. And we've just been riding that wave ever yep. since uh, all the way through the Switch launch. And now everybody wants to Shack. Now we're the hotness. Everybody wants to Shack. And uh, it's it's a cool thing. We have, um, I, I kind of like what we're doing. It's a little different. So I know that some people, you know, they're going to be like, what? When you download the PSVG Podcast Network or you subscribe to it, we have shows that drop uh, almost every day of the week, definitely during the work week. So we've got yeah. PSVG proper that drops every Monday. We have Board with Video Games, which is a game totally about tabletop. And vi- like they do both. They do tabletop and video games, but it's basically board games. And we have B-O-A-R-D Nintendo Shack. B-O-A-R-D with video yes, games, by yes. the way. You have to ex- <laughs> They're not actually bored. <laughs> I forgot about that. They thought they were being cute with that name. I mean, and, it's uh, adorable. Yeah, but it's only caused confusion. People are like, do you realize you spelled board wrong? Like, they get that all the time. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah. So, and then we've got Nintendo Shack, which is our Nintendo show, and those are the weekly shows. And then monthly, we do a PSXP, which is a PlayStation show. We do an Empire show, which is all about Xbox. And we also do an Arcadia show, which Caroline's the co-host of, where they do a little retro rewind on something, and they give a little historical aspect. So that's all you get from just the PSVG podcast network proper. Wow. <laughs> that's that's a lot. That is a lot. So, Carol, I'm going to start with you. Give us, yeah. uh, since there's there's so many of you, we're going to kind of do the, like, elevator pitch, like, quick, like, but give us a give us a brief history of you and Nintendo. Me and Nintendo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, if you guys haven't already, if you guys haven't already seen, uh, I am on Josh's site as one of the featured content creators. So you can read all about that there. But I used to be a Sega Genesis girl and uh, the tables turned when I was told time and time again by my friends in school that, oh, Nintendo is better than Sega and all this stuff, like, whatever. And then I wanted an N64 and it's changed ever since. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you guys want Let, more. Let's give us, a, give us a couple of your favorite games and or series of games. Legend is always my favorite series. Okay. Animal Crossing is my second favorite series. Oh. Fire Emblem, probably my third. Okay. Um, in terms of games, you know, I there are so many that I can't even name. Uh, but those those are my three, and I'd say probably favorite games have to come out of those three series. Okay. All right. And you've recently started streaming on Twitch, and where can people watch that? Yeah. The Nintendo. A lot of your folks have already come over and shown me a lot of love. So shout out to Benji and Royce and. Um, Kirby Geek's been in there and Yikum. So like everybody that's coming, you've been awesome. But I'm the Nintendame over on Twitch. And, Very cool. Uh, there you go. Cool. All right, Jason, your turn. Give us the um, give us the brief history with Nintendo. I I gosh, I can't I can't remember the age. I want to say I was like six years old. I got the uh the NES bundle with the power pad and the was the duck hunt. It's like the three games in one. You got Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. Oh yeah. And world class world class track meet on the one cartridge, <laughs> so I had that bundle. And that's what I, that's what I you know that was my first introduction to Nintendo. So I grew up grew up with the console, and then I like I drifted away. You know I I back then you know it was like you find out when the new systems are out, but then your parents are like, well you already have a Nintendo. Why do you need a Super Nintendo? So you're just on the outside yeah. with your face up against the glass, just looking in, wanting to be wanting to experience and. Um, I, then I went to a Genesis for a while, and I was I drifted away from Nintendo for a while, and I got back in with the GameCube, and um, then I went to PC exclusively for a while, and then I remember uh, I was gonna get a I was gonna get a Wii. I was like, I don't need graphics, you know, we, we can't graphics aren't gonna just keep we we can't we're gonna hit that that plateau, and it's just not gonna matter. We need we need to have we need to have new ways to experience games, new this. Like then I was like, I'm not camping out at Walmart for a foot i mean for her for a wee so um 
And then I, I jumped back in with the Wii U, of all, oddly enough, of all things, probably because of Donnie, honestly. That's, that's probably why. <laughs> and then here I am now, um, much again rekindling that love uh, for Nintendo. Uh, as, as far as favorite series, it's got to be Smash Bros. and Star Fox. Those are like mm. my two... Like, I don't know why I've always loved Star Fox. I think it was... Um, I just always like the characters and the, the the style of the game, and even though I've barely played, you know, I've really scratched the surface on a lot of the games. I've only played like you know the original in '64 and um, a couple of the others, but I just I don't know what it is about it. Always always like that. Smash Bros. I mean, what can I say? I mean, you already know, Josh. I mean, you do a podcast all about <laughs> Smash Bros. Oh, yeah. so, I mean, what what do you say about that series? Can't wait for Ultimate. It's going to be a great time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I think what's nice about you know, Nintendo is, is, it's just, it's like, I feel like it's always fun. Fun is first, you know, and especially with being in PSVG, we get so much of the viewpoints of other consoles and other things like that. And it's like, it's nice because I feel like with, as Nintendo enthusiasts, where you, you just feel akin to everyone and it's cool to just like, I don't care about bleeding edge and things like that. I just like the content of the games. And I like to have fun. And that's what Nintendo always consistently has delivered. Gotcha. All right. Well, both of you be thinking. You both have one more question to answer, and that is, what are we going to judge you for never playing? <laughs> so be thinking about that. Coming. All three of you can think about it. But uh, uh, Donnie, how about you, man? What's the history with Nintendo and some favorite series? Um, I got into games a little bit later than I think most of the folks here. I, I never. I mean, I, I had a Super Nintendo and I had an NES, but it was way, way, way late into the cycle. Like I never really got up to snuff on day one gaming, probably until the GameCube. And then, uh, so a lot of my Nintendo fandom really resonates really early 64 and then GameCube through Wii, through Wii U. I sold more Wii U's than Nintendo did, for sure. Um, (laughs) I was pushing the Wii U and all of the great games that it has um, for the longest time, um, flooding message boards, flooding Twitter. Um, I definitely kind of got that reputation. Everybody's just like, dude, this console is dead on arrival. I'm like, you, you, you don't understand. The Fatal Frame game is great. You use the gamepad as a camera. Right. I'm trying to tell you guys. <laughs> like, you, you don't know what you're missing out on. Um, Jason, go buy Zombie U. It's five bucks. The it's Zombie U is better. amazing. Zombie U is so good. Um, Donnie, there are the like gamepad. multiple copies for $2 at GameStop right now. In That's the exactly section. the game you can stream this Halloween, by the way. Tangent aside. Oh, my... Oh. My real history is I'm a huge Zelda fan. I always have been. Like that's the series that always brings me in. I'm always there whenever possible. Um, I also uh, Pokemon. Uh, me and my family, oh, especially now that Pokemon. I have kids, Pokemon. We do all the Pokemon's all the time. Um, so I'm constantly doing that with my kids. And then I'm a sucker for anything golf. Everybody knows that I've been playing. We've been playing Mario Golf on 3DS for what feels like five years now. I've been having these <laughs> random get-togethers with people across the internet, finding people to play Mario Golf with, and we've had a nice little successful run for the last sure. like six months. We've been uh, doing these weekly tournaments for a while now. So if any of the uh, N64 Josh crew wants to play some Mario Golf on 3DS, we have a, a lunch club that we do every week. Um, but I, yeah, anything Mario Golf, any golf thing, uh, golf story. All of it. J- Jason knows all too well. We were on the direct live the golf store. Oh my god, golf! Store! <laughs> like I lost what my mind about that game. The game is so good. It's so good. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> be thinking about your the, the question. All right, what are we going to judge you for? I, can I already I, answered. I, I mean, I get to ask this because I get judged continually, as Kirby Geek <laughs> points out. Like, this yeah. is just to try to deflect judgment off of myself and to the guests that come on the show. So, uh, uh, Caro, go ahead. Metroid. I haven't played a single Metroid game. I didn't know that. So much judgment. Yes, you didn't right know now. that. I don't know. That's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> 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 don't okay. you remember when Return of Samus was uh, shown remember. at E3 last year? I was like, I don't want to run a game, guys. And y'all were like, Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I'm about it. Do you, you went on and on about Undertale. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Undertale. Is a great game. Oh my gosh! None of these people. Uh, Josh, have you played Undertale? We're not talking about questions for me right now. Yes. We're only talking. Yes. Why? Why? She can't believe we haven't played it, but she has. Yet, she hasn't found anybody. Else. She hasn't found anybody yet. Right. <laughs> she found Lucas. She found one person. She found Lucas. We're we're all wondering why you have played it. Because <laughs> I used to play PC games when we were in the dark days of Wii U. <laughs> Three years ago. Uh, oh, moving man. moving right along. I I you have a Wii U still, right? Yes, Carol. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So it's it really could be a Metroid machine for it. You can get Zero Mission. You can get. Oh, I know. I know. have a bunch of Metroid games on my shelf. Just, just doesn't want to. Collector's purposes. I have the trilogy on Wii, and I just haven't played it. Well, you, you should at very least, <laughs> for for your stream, play Super Metroid. Yeah, I yeah. think at, I think very, I really want to play the original one too. At minimum, but at minimum, play Super Metroid. That's true. Yeah it'll it'll change your life i guarantee it yeah <laughs> jason how about you buddy i think it's a toss-up probably between either maybe final fantasy 3 or banjo kazooie i'm not sure oh, which, i don't no. know which i'd be judged Dude. harsher on. i didn't own an n64 so i mean but you haven't played banjo <laughs> i didn't have a 64 god never played it i'm afraid to admit this but the only banjo I mean, I've since played them once they came to Xbox, but I played more of the like, like Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts than I did the uh, <laughs> actual, <laughs> the actual game. So, you know, I'm I'm now absorbing some of that judgment for you, bud. So yes, <laughs> I'm gonna pray for you guys. Yeah. And uh, Jason, what are, what are we gonna judge you? Donnie, 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 Donnie sorry. Okay. So tell me the the root of the question. The game I've never played or never beaten. Like what? It, what is the exact? What is the? Honestly, Donnie doesn't. Oh, side side note: Donnie does not beat games. He gets bored with them after ten hours and, and then sells them, them and then buys them again. Yes, like <laughs> I beat more months. games. I beat more games last year than she has. I beat more games this year than she has. So just just, just say that, okay? Let's just let's keep things perspective. Just because you play two hundred hour games, you beat two a year, okay? Three hundred. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> You guys do this every week, right? I, yep. ju I don't, do. just, I don't yeah. just beat them. I 100% do them. There's a difference. 100%. <laughs> so yeah. it it can be, you know, I've never, I had never beaten Mario 64. So I got major flack for it. I'm now writing those wrongs, streaming <laughs> that game. I'm at 35 stars, right? We're, we're, yeah. we're I'm, I'm. I'm right in the wrongs of my past. So okay. I had never, never completed that. Is there any series that you've never played or series that you really should have, should have, you know, finished? Uh, and I'll throw another one. I've never played Majora's Mask, right? This is all, uh, this yeah. is all. No, known. okay. So, so the other week, <laughs> the other week, you can skip that one. Kirby and I were making a list <laughs> of the N64 games that Josh has Ooh. to play in order to Ouch. call himself N64 Josh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't oh, write it down. I didn't write demoted. it down. Demoted. Yeah, S N E S Josh. Yeah. Majora's Mask is definitely the one that you have to do. It's 32X Josh right now. So <laughs> Turbo Graphics 16, Josh. <laughs> you know, I've I've tried to go back as you have, and I've tried to go back and make sure that I've kind of at least covered my bases for games that I've never played, especially in the Nintendo space, like as a virtual console world out of 3DS and stuff. Um, up until last year, I had never beaten Super Metroid. I played it, but I never beaten it, and I did. I went back and beat the game. Um, I did the same thing with Mario 3 a couple years ago. I had always played it. I had never played every level, though. I'd always used the whistles to warp to the end. Mm -hmm. I never, like, actually beaten the game. But I did that a couple years ago. So I'm trying to think. I've never really played an F-Zero game. Like, I've booted it up for, like, a few minutes and been like, nope, I'm out. And I've never really played an F-Zero game. To be honest with you, I don't really understand what all the fuss is about. That's a game that could go to pasture for me. I'm like... Whatever. I can I live about that. Nintendo's got, already let it go to pass. Yeah, I'm like, I've got cart. Like, every time people... I've never beaten Earthbound. I've never really gotten far into Earthbound. It's another one that I'm I'm kind of like, mm. I mean, it's decent, but, you know, it doesn't... To me, it doesn't age very well. Yeah. And I've never done any of, like, the old school RPGs that Caroline loves. This is something her and I go back and Like, I never did, like, the old Final Fantasy things or anything like that. Because um, I just wasn't really, you know... I wasn't in, I didn't have access or wasn't in the ecosphere, you know, in the day. So, so Josh, I feel you, man. His, his first full JRPG that he beat, is this correct? Was Xenoblade 2? Uh, so Pokemon Yellow, and then oh, Xenoblade okay. 2 that's right, was that's the right. second one. Yeah. Hmm. And that's, that, that's, that's it. That was it. Now I'm working on Octopath and loving it. And, just, Octo I'm just sold. I'm just, I'm just full of, <laughs> full of regret. I didn't Donnie play bought it games. and sold it. This is what he did with Xenoblade 2. That's all we needed and to he hear. he bought Xenoblade 2 again and is loving it. So he just doesn't learn from his mistakes. Hang on, hang on. 
right. and, I beat Xenoblade one. Caroline's over here. Oh boy, like, here we go. I beat Xenoblade go. X, little one. So I've beaten Xenoblade games, and I'm beating Xenoblade little two. One. I'm playing it. I'm enjoying it. It's great. It's a blast. Just because I'm playing Xenoblade X doesn't mean I'm going to like Octopath. They're very different games. They're completely different games. So let's just just cool it. With the hate. All right. I ain't hating. Getting testy here, Caroline. You guys are, uh, yeah, Benji's like, chairs are going to be tossed. <laughs> brother, and sister, brother and sister, uh, I, I met Caroline, I won't take too long, but I met Caroline in a GameStop while we were picking up our Nintendo Switch. And it took five minutes of her and I trading these barbs for me to be like, you have to join my podcast. And then I <laughs> followed up with her for months in emails to make sure she did. I offered to buy her mics and everything. I was like, no, no, you don't understand. It has to happen. I'm not, I'm not taking no for an answer. You have to come join PSVG. <laughs> don't so. think this is creepy or anything, but I really yeah, want you to podcast. Don't think this is creepy or anything, but you have to join the podcast. <laughs> it really wasn't that. It wasn't creepy at all. Like I've I got see, the emails. I've got the emails. No, we can no I'm pages. telling you, my my retaliation to that. It's not really a retaliation. It's my side of the story. I had just gotten married like a week after we met, and I went through name changes, honeymoon, get a new apartment, more name changes. For you just hear Brian didn't think it was creepy either. Who? He wants you to do you what? He said he'd buy what? What? How do you even tell him? <laughs> He's fine with it. You just got married? I don't care. Like we need to podcast. Sure. Right? We need to podcast. podcast. Yeah, we need to podcast. All right. Well, very cool. Tell us again, real quick. We're going to do this again at the end of the show, but where, like, any plugs? I know uh, Carol said she's streaming on Twitch. Like, Donnie or Jason, do you guys do streaming or YouTube or anything like that that you want to plug right now? Uh, Go, Jason. Jay. Uh, I, I casually stream sometimes twitch.tv flux day, but I do, I do, I do too many podcasts already. I do the PSVG. I do my own at flux to post flux to com, And I'm a member of, uh, if we ran Nintendo, which is hosted on Nintendo guru, uh, youtube.com slash Nintendo guru on Friday nights. Okay. You're busy, busy. Yeah. And, uh, Donnie yourself. Typically, I stream mainly on the PSVG stuff. So psvg.blog is our blog, our website. That's where all of our podcast stuff is all hosted. And then twitch.tv slash PSVG. Awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we're going to move on to the... Uh the downloads mm -hmm. for August 16th, and then we're going to get to the sales. And then we've got news, so you guys have to listen to me talk for just a little bit. But uh, uh, when we get to the sales, I'm going to need help, because if I mention a game that you know about, that you're like, that is good, don't miss it, I want you to cut me off and let us know, okay? So uh, got it. We're going we're gonna to get to the downloads for the 16th here. All right. So, again, this is from Nintendo's uh, PR the dates are a little wonky the way they do this. I'm not sure yeah. why they do it this way, but they're a little they're Anyway, they are what they are. Some of these games are either uh, already out, coming out today, coming out tomorrow, or possibly coming out as late as next week. So there you go. We're going to I'm just going to leave it at that and I'll go through the games here. Keep talking and nobody explodes. I actually know very little about this game. Do any of you guys know? Have you have you? So um, you're making a remark. <laughs> my, <laughs> I know my buddies played the played it in VR, and oddly enough, one of my Discord servers, one of the guys that like made the game, is a member of our our server. So, okay. Um, my understanding, yeah, you have someone that you you have to defuse a bomb essentially, and you have one person that can actually see the bomb, and the other people that you play with like have the manual and are like talking you through the steps to actually <laughs> defuse it. Wow, interesting. Could could be could be a lot of fun. All right, Walking Dead, the final season. Talk to uh, Donnie. Beat it last night. Nice. Very good. Uh, Neo Geo Metal Slug 4. This is... <laughs> this is the Arcade Archives. Kids... I'm not even going to say the name, guys. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Uh, good luck. I, I'm not sure on what this is, but it's one of the, you know, it's one of these obscure arcade games from... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll butcher the name, but it looks like... Like maybe uh, Hori Hori Diasakusen? Hold on, give it to me because I'm the Japanese girl. There you go. You, you, you <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I know. It, the, the link in the show notes um, under Switch under coming soon. soon. Under oh, under the coming, under coming soon. soon. So there you go. I'll keep on going. We can come back to it though. <laughs> Castle Storm is uh, on its way out. Uh, Detective Gallo. Game. That was a Wii U game. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, flip over frog 
Funbox Party. Here we go. Johnny's Turbo Arcade Nitro Ball. Uh, <laughs> Manual Samuel. Uh, Next Up Hero. Out of the Box. Persian Knight Sands of Wonder. Polygod. Red's Kingdom. Uh, Roboto? Roboto? Roboto, I guess. I guess. I'm not real sure. Spectrum. Thank you very much, Joe. Tiny Hands Adventure, which sounds hilarious. And Treadnoughts, which we're going to be looking at tomorrow. Um, and that does come out tomorrow as well. And it's $10. Uh, Carl, did you get a chance to look at that name? No, I can't find it. Uh-oh. It's not showing up. Um, <sighs> anyway. It's, I mean, I got, I got it on there, but whatever. It's, it's fine. It, it, I can give you the description. It's an action game that was released uh, from Nichibitsu in 1987 um, a kid who has been drawn into the space-time labyrinth from the 20th 23rd uh, century fights to escape from a large track of enemy uh, large track of enemies in order to return to present day so there you go hmm. yeah interesting uh interesting stuff there yeah <laughs> so lots of stuff coming out and then as far as demos we have monster hunter generations ultimate that demo is available now and i believe you can fight three monsters um animated jigsaws beautiful japanese scenery is available now monopoly for nintendo switch which that game as far as i know has been hot garbage since the day it dropped <laughs> and uh, me and my kids uh, played it we had fun on our vacation oh well good that's good that's okay that's the first time i've heard anything positive about it it is um, all right it's monopoly yeah yeah and then uh which i mean look they've got all these licenses with mario kart monopoly and regular nintendo character monopoly like why isn't that bleeding over into this that's a good point making something great you know but anyway if you want to try it it's available there and uh Morphite is another one that is uh the, a new demo available and guys the easiest way to find all the demos is to go into the search section of the eShop, hit the a button as if you're going to search for a title and then you can just hit down once on your analog stick and it says games with demos. You hit that and it unlocks all the demos. You can mm. see them there. Why is it so convoluted again? You know, we'll, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but uh, that's that. Let's get to the sales. Cause as usual, there's about 30 to 50 games on sale. Right. All right. So remember we got, not only do we have sales, but we also have some pre-releases that you can download to save a little bit of money on. So a game called Defunct is coming out September 13th. You can get a little pre-purchase deal on that. The, the classic game that would never be on a Nintendo system, Night Trap. Night Trap. 25th Anniversary Edition. It's coming out the 24th of August. You can, you can pre-download it right now or uh, pre-purchase it right now for $13.49. Um, interesting that they show on Nintendo's deals, they show the physical copy from limited run games, which I found a little bit interesting yeah. that it's not just the regular yeah. download tab, you know, so um, interesting though. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, again, there's another few more pre-purchases. Okay, behind the screen, Hacky Zack, Kiro Blaster, and Spectrum, and Detective Gallo, Keep talking and nobody explodes. Now we're getting into the games that are out and that are on sale now. Uh, Cosmic Star Heroin. No Reload Heroes. And again, if you guys know of one of these, like I want, if, if you're like, oh, this is great, make sure don't don't miss this, especially if it's on sale, let us know, okay? Uh, Bomb Chicken, which I know in the NPC community... Um, I know Kirby Geek's been playing this game and enjoying it, and she keeps posting clips on Twitter and stuff. So it's, I mean, it just it just released not that long ago. Yeah. And it's part of that. I don't know if you guys noticed this, uh, the the pattern that a game launches, and about a week and a half later, it's already on sale so that it doesn't yeah. fall off of the eShop. It seems mm. to be kind of a, a thing that's happening, which is, mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know. A little unfortunate, but uh, Bomb Chicken's good, though. Star Story, The Horizon Escape, uh, Spirit Sphere DX, Die for Valhalla, Legendary Eleven, which looks We like had an opportunity to review that soccer game, and uh, one of our reviewers on the PSVG team reviewed it, and he did not like it. It was okay. not recommended. There you go. Uh, the Adventures of Atlanta Tempo, 
some of these games are on sale every week too. They never go off sale. They've literally been <laughs> this here. Is just the price. <laughs> like since I've started doing uh, this segment, uh, Wizard of Legend, which I know a lot of people have liked. It's not a huge sale, but uh, yeah, it is down. I feel a like bit. I heard a lot of good things about that one. Yeah, same here. Um, Snow Moto Racing Freedom. This looks like a game that your grandma would get you when you were a kid, and you're like, <laughs> you, you like, you, you'd rather get the sweater almost. You know, that's what it. That's that's what it reminds me of. But uh, oh, Mulaka, dear. which people liked Mulaka, from my understanding, Mulaka's Paper Wars, Cannon Fodder, Devastated, Subsurface Circular, Membrane, Superola, and the Lost Burgers. Layers <laughs> sounds of, delicious. <laughs> layers of Fear Legacy. Uh, Joe Denver, Lone Wolf. Aqua John Kitty. Denver's Lone... No? Yeah. Oh, Joe Denver. So, uh, John Denver? It's a football John game. John Denver's Lone it's Wolf. A, it's a football game. Yeah, no. Joe Devers. Yeah, I was already... I was just looking ahead. Um, John, no, that's John Elway, not John Denver. John Denver's the, uh, the, the musician. Here we go. We're doing it live. I don't care. My job is uh, done here. Yes. Aqua Kitty, UDX. Uh... Wonder Jaw, <laughs> try again or walk away. It's like literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Black Hole, um, Eternal Blade, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, Nintendo Switch Edition, uh, Super One More Jump, which I remember just seeing like the. I remember when that game launched, it looked kind of interesting, but I didn't get a chance to try it. Um, Nucleon, Darkest Dungeon, which I've heard good things. Mm -hmm. uh, Bloody Zombies. Puzzle Box Maker. Rip the, off. The Coma Recut. <laughs> yes, uh, the Coma Recut is good. Is good? Okay. Um, I reviewed it for the team, and I played it for a Nintendo Switch, and it's a lot like Detention, and it's um, survival horror kind of uh, Metroidvania type thing, and you got to go across an environment, find the stuff to unlock the doors, to find the note to get out, you know, that type of thing. And it's uh, this one is like, instead of it being like so scary, like the Detention's far more scary, this one's kind of tongue-in-cheek, kind of Persona-ish. Um, kind of funny. The teacher's got like big teeth and stuff, and it's kind of funny. Okay. So I All like right. it. Tiny Troopers Joint Ops XL, Woodle Tree Adventures, Hiragana Pixel Party, Blackfall, Bleed. Bleed is down to 407 from 1199. So, oh, jeez. Uh, Floor Kids, which we loved. We had the we had the devs on the NPC. Um, really fun rhythm game. Highly recommend checking it out. It's down to eleven ninety four from nineteen ninety, which is a really great price. That it's actually nineteen ninety, you know. So pretty cool there. Uh, Red game without a great name is a dollar forty nine. Of course it is. R Riptide GP Renegade is three ninety nine. Pretty good. S Slain back from hell. Yodanji Letter Quest Remastered. G green game. Ooh, green game. <laughs> time swapper. Yeah, down to a dollar forty nine. And letter quest is uh, down to two ninety nine from eleven ninety nine. So they're giving that one away. It's a good uh, sign. La Noir. Sure down to <laughs> down to twenty four ninety nine. It's a good price. Rocket League's on sale for thirteen ninety nine, which I do recommend picking up. I do believe there's another physical version of Rocket League coming out to the Switch. So, another one? Another one, yeah. Uh, farming Simulator, Nintendo Switch Edition. I mean... It's not the real Harvest Moon. <laughs> it's not, it's still not my Animal Crossing. Sorry, uh, not Stardew Valley either. $29.99. Heroes of the Monkey Tavern is four ninety nine. Super Beat Sports. Uh, Splasher... Which I knew I knew nothing about this until last week when I mentioned this game being on sale right. for nine ninety nine. Uh, Super Nintendo ad friend of the show uh, said this game is uh, was developed by by people that actually worked on the the Rayman series or Rayman oh, series. Oh, wow. and so it's a fun game. I reviewed um, it for PSVG. It's a fun game. Okay, well there you go. So I wanted to make sure I gave it a little bit of love. It's nine ninety nine down from fourteen ninety nine. So. You can check that one out. Uh, Jackbox Party Pack 4, $14.99. Everybody says you should play that. That's what I hear every time I mention it. So, Tumblestone, down from $14.99 to $4.34. Uh, in Versus Deluxe is half price at $7.49. If you haven't picked that one up yet, I do, I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and if you have somebody to play on the couch with or if you want to play online, there's actually quite a bit of content to this game. And it's almost like... Uh, 
like a modern version of Othello that's uh, ki- kind of twin stick shooter-ish, kind of, the way you play. It's not not entirely, though. So um, check it out. And I actually think there is a demo for Inverses as well if you want to try it before you buy it. Oh, cool. Uh, Pan- <laughs> Pan- Pankapu, I guess is how you say it. Pankapu. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I there you know. go, a little accent there. Uh, beach Buggy Racing, probably better than Hello Kitty Cruisers. No, um, no way. Ooh. <laughs> what's the other one coffin chasers or what's the other? yeah yep uh the bridge which i think i've heard good things about is only 289 um death squared is down to seven or 899 from 1499 and i and me is 699 so there that kitty is adorable i might have to get it there yeah, oh, oh no. there you go oh, no there you go <laughs> so there are your sales for the switch let's get to the news there's some crazy news this week so uh let's uh let's get to the news All right. Well, Tuesday, we recorded the first episode of the week of the Nintendo PowerCast. Wednesday morning, I wake up to see that the Time Splitters, uh, the, the Time Splitters <laughs> name, the brand, everything has been acquired by THQ Nordic. And I couldn't have been more excited. I, I don't even think I needed coffee that day because I was so excited to wake up to this news. <laughs> Are any of you guys Time Splitters fans here? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, Maybe. Back in my GameCube days, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played it for GameCube. Okay. Future um, perfect. Yeah. No, never played it. Never oh. played it. Okay. Well familiar with it, but I think I played it. I think I played multiplayer on like PlayStation Two for like a hot minute, but that's about it. So, he, huge first person shooter fan, right? Thanks yeah. to GoldenEye and uh, Perfect Dark. Sure. And when Rare got sold. <laughs> Microsoft. I was very sad. And Rip. Time Splitters 2 was the first first person shooter on the GameCube that I thought was really worth playing. And the thing the on the box it said heir apparent to Goldeneye. And when I found yeah. out it was X Rare employees making this game, I was stoked. And then it had the facility and had some levels from Goldeneye in it and everything. Like I played a ton of it. Can't I mean the first game was PlayStation 2 exclusive, and then the second game came out on all three consoles. The third game came out on all three. I played the third one on the Xbox because it had online, Yeah. and mm. the, the GameCube didn't because Nintendo didn't think it was important. And so, mm. fingers crossed, they talk about acquiring all three games, so maybe we see like an HG trilogy come out sooner Ooh. than later and then yeah. maybe see the fourth do you think uh, they could do that with like licensing and everything like do they own the licenses to all of the back catalog too I think they bought that, it that's did what, they just get i just thought they got the ip no according to the the official release they got the the rights for all three games oh now that would be awesome nice. that would be cool nice. so There's decent decent stories for first person shooters that's why i always play them yeah so. and, and they're very much a 90s shooter but like yeah s- kind of similar to um in a way to certain characters in overwatch or certain characters in paladins or doom is very much like, I don't even know. I don't even think you can jump in, in time splitters. I don't just like you couldn't in perfect dark or in golden. I don't think there's a jump. It's just run and shoot mm-hmm. and have fun, you know? And there's a monkey gun that looks like the RCP 90 that fires like 64 <laughs> bullets at once. So like, <laughs> you know, it took me forever to unlock that thing, but it was well, Wait, it fires it. how many bullets at once. I think it's like 64, like, <laughs> like really, really fast. Just unloads the whole clip. So pretty, pretty cool. Wow. Um, let's see here. Uh, next on the list. This is big guys. This is big. Yep. So thanks to Forbes, <laughs> of all places, sh- of all places, shout out to Forbes, okay, because they leaked, they 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 <laughs> they weren't supposed to let everybody know that this that Diablo three was coming to the Switch, but they did. Why am I so happy about it? Well, one, I've never played Diablo, so I'm going to get to try this for the first time. Go ahead and judge me. And I was going to say, ooh, that's a good one for that list of yours. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Never played it. Uh, but two, the article I wrote for this game, because I wasn't under any kind of embargo, 
It's the most viewed article I've ever had on my website. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, oh and I'm talking, like, by a long shot. Like, uh, so <laughs> pretty, pretty stoked about that. So shout out to Forbes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but Diablo 3 coming this fall with exclusive Nintendo content. So who's the Diablo pro here? Who can who can break down what Diablo is? Ooh, pro? Well, I haven't played it since Diablo 2 and I'm playing PC. It's been a I've, long I've time. I've played every version of Diablo, so I guess I guess there that's me. Uh, Diablo is the the quintessential action RPG. It pretty much like is the the, the, the game that's I would say that's go to in the genre. You know, you has a great gameplay gameplay loop. You have a character, you go through slaughter monsters, get gold, get items level up upgrade your skills repeat you know you have they invented for me at least it was the first game i played that had a skill tree the whole skill tree system that was adapted into like world of warcraft and things of that nature where you have just have to spend skill points unlock skills you have to get certain skills to unlock more allows you to specialize in certain things but i mean that that's like the big appeal i think with diablo is just to go through kill hordes of monsters get better loot repeat um i never played like Diablo 3 I didn't play nearly as much on PC, especially the, the new content that's coming, well, the newer content that's included in this uh, release on the Switch. Because um, I know there were some like modes they added to it that people loved, plus they got, you know, they added, added, I think, an additional two classes that I never played as, but I've always loved Diablo, Diablo 2 especially, so I'm very anxiously awaiting to get in, uh, get in on this one. And I'll happily play pay sixty dollars for a game that came out in two thousand twelve. <laughs> right. I mean, we see it in the chat. We've, I've seen it online a lot. Like, you know, I'm looking at it, going, "This is brand new to me." So sixty bucks is no big deal, right? Yeah. Um, for for a game that I've I've never experienced. I've seen also people saying, "Is this is is this a game you really want to play with a controller instead of clicking a mouse?" I heard that like the the once they ported because they once they ported it to Xbox and PlayStation, I heard that people, the people in my echo chamber that were on those platforms loved it the way it played with the controller. I mean, Blizzard did a really nice job, I guess, making it work. So the uh, the thing that gets me excited about this game is well, first, I mean, it's Blizzard, right? We yep. I, mean, I went and did a little bit of research. The last game I could find that that was made by blizzard on a nintendo console was super nintendo um that oh, i could find wow so you know kevin if he's still in the chat kevin actually looked up the games last night i don't know if it went that far Star back, starcraft I on n64 there I was yeah oh yeah there was starcraft 64 yeah okay so un unfortunately yeah <laughs> oh that yeah, good huh? yeah so anyway the, when, just the the quick research i did i did see a handful of super nintendo games like yeah was it uh uh, was it was Blackthorn one of theirs too? I know I mean, right. Lost Vikings was, but yeah, N none of the names looked very familiar to me as games that I really recognized. But, um, uh, but the other thing is, is I mentioned uh, during the uh, a, a book to pick up on Audible was Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, and they get into the story of Diablo three and how they they kind of really screwed up when they launched the game. And mm -hmm. they had a very faithful community that was like, we're not doing this like this. Like they really felt nickeled and dimed and yeah. it, and you know, good on blizzard for like turning the whole thing around. So, uh, rock and roll racing. That's the one that I do. Oh, remember yeah. From, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's the one. Thank you. Ted. Kevin said it's been like 18 years. So it's almost like two decades, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I forget how problematic that D3 launch was. That uh, yeah, that was yeah, that was that like was bungled for sure. Right, they had to like remake the like entire grind like equipment system, and then they they had it to where like users could sell stuff to each other, but then they had to take it out because it was like it was being it was being nerfed. People were taking advantage of it. They were selling oh, stuff. Of, co of course they were. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, which is, I mean, this is all quite you know, it's pretty funny because they teased the whole like. Diablo logo head whatever on a switch right a few months ago yeah. mm -hmm. and then they were like oh no nothing's coming that, that was unattended there's yeah. no reference yeah, there. yeah. what a coincidence what, yeah, yeah what a coincidence and now most of the major news uh, outlets are reporting that it's up to the development team if overwatch can can be put onto the switch it's not it's 
you know, initially it was like, no, it's never happening. We, we've heard this. And then they said it with uh, Hearthstone as well, right? Like, and yeah. now it's like, we might actually see more of these. I mean, look, Blizzard, they obviously like money. I mean, they make it hand over fist, right? And putting these games out on the, uh, on the Switch, that's, that's now the, like the fastest selling console in history, right? I mean, it, it seems like, seems like a pretty good fit. And Paladins is, uh, Paladins is rocking and rolling. On the I, I think that has to be their best like test case for Overwatch is right. the success of Paladins. I mean, yeah, and I don't know if I mean I don't know numbers wise how Paladins is doing, right. but I know the game plays well, and yeah. I love it. So. I know every that, time that's I, all. If I love it, that has to be that has to be <laughs> yeah, it. that it's, has to be it. It's got to. Josh, be what's there. what's your take though? Because I I've had some people have this conversation, and I find it interesting. It's like the the production quality of that announcement video because I know in the the Kotaku article, they had said that it was really originally attended that Diablo was going to get announced today, supposedly. But man, that with the, with the Reggie and everything, that felt very direct like to me. And I almost like some people are talking, like wondering if that got ripped from a potential future direct that they, you know, because yep, of the fleet that. that they had to push the announcement and just release that on its own. So the, the moment that we, that Forbes leaked this, the, f- the first thing I thought was, this explains why E3 felt weak in the games department from Nintendo because they knew this was coming, but they didn't share it with us, right? They didn't. Mm-hmm. We didn't. We didn't know about it, and so all of a sudden, fall is now filling up, where before it was like, well, I mean, yeah, Mario Party, Pokemon, Smash, but I think Mario Party, Pokemon, Smash is huge for any fall. I. I don't I mean <laughs> there are not a lot of first party companies putting more out there than that. No, no. Caroline no. and I argued for six months about this. I kept trying to remind folks that we are never going to get Pokemon Smash, Fire Emblem, uh, you know, a three D Mario, a two D Mario, and a Metroid. I just like, wanted we, Animal Crossing. I we can't shove them Animal all in a Crossing. season. No. No, oh, and no. we the reason we um um the the reason we don't now especially is because yes. there's third party yes. games right yep. which which is it sucks as the consumer going yes i want to play animal crossing right now i want to play um if there's going to be a new pikmin i want to play metroid i wanted oh, to play yeah. that yoshi game i want to play nintendo first party titles right that's why i've been a nintendo fan for over 30 years but unlike the Wii U where there was massive drought so that Nintendo could make sure they put out quality games, now they can put out quality games and not have to worry about the system being a ghost town because you've, exactly. got, you've got Dark Souls coming out. You've got Diablo coming out. It's still weird they didn't tell us about this at E3, but I, at the same time, when we see how gigantic Smash is, I feel yeah. like they want Smash to be on the forefront of everybody's mind. And then, yes, there's also these other games coming, but at the same time, they they want to make sure they they market this well enough that that uh, Blizzard has a good return on investment for putting this on the Switch as well. I think there's a lot to be said though the fact that Diablo and uh, Dark Souls they're still ports. So like we're excited that it's coming. Um, I know like specifically for me, I haven't played it. You haven't played it, so right. we're excited. It's new to us, um, but it's still a port. And I don't know if you want to showcase a port of a game on your grandest stage because then maybe the new story is. Nintendo doesn't have new games to show. They're showing you old games. Whereas by giving Smash its time in the, in the sun, because Smash was going to overshadow anything that you put out there. That's why they throw out games like Next Machina. Um, but by doing that, then they can do this now, and now what's the, the hotness? Now you're getting Diablo. Because the folks that don't care don't care because it's not E3. Right? There's nobody out there who's like, oh, Diablo 3 is coming to Switch because it's not an E3 announcement. There's not that standard that everybody's holding everybody to. Like, this is E3. You better bring it. Now everybody's just like, oh, that's cool. Diablo 3 is coming. And then there's folks like you and I that are super excited about it. Yeah, and just wonder how we're going to pl- find time to play all this. <laughs> play everything. Stuff, yeah, right? exactly. Especially a game exactly. like Diablo, which from my understanding is quite a uh, investment. Um, which also has like the hardcore mode, right? Where you can die and lose all your yep. progress. So yep. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's I you can't wait. Once, <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> wait. That's gonna be the best thing ever on stream. Like you're just gonna I'm gonna I'll probably cry when it finally happens. <laughs> like, what a, knowing Look at me, this rare hammer I got. Yeah. Uh, I'll walk oh, off an no. edge. I'll be like, <laughs> Can you guys believe this? And I'm still holding left and there I go. <laughs> like Plus we get we get we get co op, right? We can do in teams of four and we yep. get the Ganon armor. 
Right. Which, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It fits yep. right there. I got to get the gamut armor. That's yeah. going to be awesome. Got to have it. Got to have it. So Diablo three coming this fall. Um, I believe pre-orders are up as of, yes. uh, as a recording. Oh, so, um, from the rumor mill, new mm. super Mario bros, you rumored to be coming this fall. Also, this is from comicbook.com. The, uh, I think we talked about this a little bit when I was on your guys' show back back a few months ago where I put out an article about this and yeah. uh, had yep. somebody somebody with, a, you know, kind of some insider information was like, one of those is actually coming. Mm-hmm. It, more and more, it's pointing to to this game. According to the comicbook.com article, it will have Super Mario Bros. U, Luigi U, and some new content. What I want to know is, are they going to keep the U? Because obviously that was for the, the other system. Do they make a port and rename it? So the other thing they mentioned in the article was that it could be called Wii U Deluxe. Or I'm sorry, U mm-hmm. Deluxe. So New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now, Galaxy mm-hmm. Edition. <laughs> right, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still crossing my fingers that it's, uh, that it's uh, Super Mario All-Stars 2. And it just has all of the the that yeah. box art that you shared was so good. It got me so excited. <laughs> right. I was in there in Discord. I was like, "Man, that is too good." <laughs> They're is. not going to do it, but that's, that's no, too good. they won't. They won't. Um, but but yeah. So who knows what the what the extra levels are? That kind of stuff. It, it's a great game. It's probably the best game in the new Super Mario. Uh, oh, the, in the new Super Mario series, like um, the like the the biggest complaints are just kind of the artwork is a little bit bland except for on the fifth world right where it looks like a looks like a picasso painting but as far yeah, as that the, world is really good like level design and everything it made me feel like i was playing um super mario world as a kid and that's that's what i've wanted since i played super mario world as a kid so <laughs> it, it plays really well co-op um mm-hmm. and then like you know they really marketed the game around that um i think it's worth mentioning they got to strip out all of that miiverse stuff um, I've recently re- went back and replayed through that game mm-hmm. with my Wii U, and uh, you know it sucks because it's so baked into everything, all the messages, all the chat bubbles, all the balloons. And when you play it now on Wii U, you just get error messages you have to click through constantly. So mm. not like that's going to be a big deal, but like all it's got to get out. And I wonder if if you get rid of it all, I wonder if anything will feel like it's missing. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I definitely think it deserves like a fresh coat of paint. I think you're right. It's it's a little edgy for my liking for like what you would expect out of it. It's it's a little edgy. And uh, typically when we see ports like Donkey Kong and Hyrule Warriors, when they come over, you know, like we get an upgrade and like brightness and just a little bit like just polish level goes up a bit. And I think this game could benefit greatly from that. Yeah, it really could. It really could. The, and the other thing is, too, there was a whole uh, mechanic where you could use the stylus on the gamepad and create yeah. blocks. That's right. And so yeah, I'm wondering if you can hold like the fifth person or the third person, whoever could actually, maybe there'll be a pointer and they can use a, a joy con detached from mm-hmm. the system and kind of create blocks that way. I don't, can you I, play single joy con still and like shake like you would a Wii remote and all that? Oh, that's how my that's, kids play. Yeah. I mean, which was so brilliant when they did that on the, the super Mario bros Wii because how many times have you handed somebody a like the NES controller when you're a kid and they go to jump and they throw their hands up, right? Yeah. <laughs> like it happened all the time and then they, they finally had that mechanic in uh, in a game. So um anyway, could be uh could be could be coming soon. I'm- I mean if it drops this fall, I, I always bring this up on Shaq. Nintendo typically loves to sell you a Mario game and a Zelda game. Like the just history proves that as much as possible, they try to get one, if not both of those franchises in every holiday shopping season. So typically we'll get a new one and then they'll do a port a year, a port a year until another new one comes. So, I mean, it makes sense. And if it does, if this is true, just like you said before, man, the, the fall lineup is packed. Like we have yeah. games to play every month. Yeah, it's so. it. And you can't forget too about the three DS and like Luigi's Mansion remakes coming out also. Yes. You know, so. I still say I still say based on what we saw in the Simon Belmont teaser, we're getting a Luigi's Mansion three. Because his poltergeist was completely different. Totally different, yep. And it would make sense that they just throw a three D uh, remake of the original on three D S just to get people into the series, be like, Hey, here's the first game if you want to try it out. If Next you're interested, year. here's the new game that's coming out. Metroid and Luigi's Mansion Three confirmed. Caroline, I want None. Metroid. I want I want Luigi's Mansion so badly. <laughs> I waited forever for Dark Moon. 
Yeah, it, there. I've only played Dark Moon, but what I've played, I really, really have liked. It was, it was you good. have to get the first game. It's wonderful. yeah, both of them are great. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. All right. Last little bit of news here. The Messenger, which is one of the games I got most excited for uh, when I saw it was during a Nindies Direct. It looks like a Ninja Gaiden uh, remake, mm-hmm. but you can switch the graphics from old school to like like 8-bit to 16-bit kind of. And uh, that's coming August 30th to, to the Switch. So exciting, exciting stuff there. Well, guys, we did it. This wasn't a mini. We're right. We're right at that. Uh, we're we're right at that hour mark. But uh, why don't uh, Caro? Why don't you tell us where we yeah. can find you and some of your content? Oh my God! Well, I'm the Nintendo Dame everywhere, guys. I'm even the here in Josh's chat most of the time. Um, you can find me on Twitch, where I do my streams. Twitter, where I just talk about everything. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. I'm. MySpace. No, I, w- I wish MySpace were still a thing. Angel Fire. Farmers Angel, only. Angel Fire. <laughs> GeoCities. <Farmers only. laughs> yeah, uh, hit me up at the Nintendo Dame. Uh, you know, Dame like a girl. That's the joke. <laughs> All right, Jason, how about you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on Twitter at JW Lacey. Um, you find me. I'm, I'm in. I'm in Josh's Discord. I mean, we can join. Find us on the the Make Us Better Discord. Oh, I do have a website, fluxtopose.com. Encourage you to check it out. And yeah, I'm everywhere. You'll find me. I, I have faith. <laughs> and uh, Donnie, how about you, bud? Find me on Twitter at Play Nintendo. And I would just ask. Ain't no G's. Ain't no G's and play, and play Nintendo. Nintendo. That's right. Um, <laughs> I just ask that your folks, if, they, if they're looking for another podcast, um, give us a try. PSVG Podcast Network. I know you may not think you you want to listen to the other shows, but if you come by for Shack, you stay for Shack. Maybe maybe you get into board games. Maybe you get into something else. That's that's kind of our, our thing. You, you stop in for one show, and maybe we uh, warm you up to the other ones. Hey, there you go. All right, guys. And I mean, I I stumbled upon you guys. Like I was just looking for uh, Nintendo podcasts, and happened to happened to come across it. You know, Internet's so, best kept secret, man. Shaq. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's Good, how I found Josh. Good stuff. I just was looking for podcasts. There you Shaq go. Life. Right. So, Shaq Life. Um, and hey, everybody, you want to make sure that, like, if you play any kind of Mario Golf on the 3DS, oh, like, you got to get in. You, you got to get in yeah. on this. Like, it was, I was like, uh, it was like the biggest dust storm ever when I blew off the blew off the DS and, and I, I Mario bought Golf the game for this to, to join in on this. Yeah. I did not own Mario people, Golf prior. Some few people have bought DLC, but I think Donnie and I are still the the captains of the DLC group. Oh, yeah. I bought it. The, I it, bought that game in the I DLC the day it. it came out. Have you guys so. posted scores for this week's tournament? Not yet. No. Not yet. Because there've been some smack talk being posted. I'd just like to let Andy know in case he's listening. <laughs> I've already I've already beaten your score, Andy. Oh, so yeah. Get back out there and get oh, like man. Mark, man. Yeah, he was like, I'm in it too, and I just laughed. I was like, Ah, two. <laughs> we're in a league of our own over here oh boy <laughs> I love it though I love it guys you can be able to follow me on twitter at n64josh you can follow this show at npowercast the show notes for this episode will be available at n64josh.com slash npc120 that's 120 you can email the npc at npc at n64josh.com remember if you want to get yourself a free book from audible go to audibletrial.com slash npc check out blood sweat and pixels if you want to know the history of diablo 3 the chair i'm sitting in from opc go to n64josh.com slash opc to automatically save ten dollars at checkout guys if you want to get yourself an exclusive podcast each month or two podcasts because i'm going to record a couple this week this uh this month for patreon you go to patreon.com slash n64josh we also got t-shirts available at n64josh dot com slash store remember to join the discord n64josh.com slash discord come hang out come play some smash come play some rocket league come play some fortnite come play some paladins mario kart splatoon like it's it's always hopping over there so um a lot of good people to talk games with and you know just life it's been a little bit of a crazy week in there with uh with stuff that's been going on so uh so come hang out we'd love to have you lastly if you have a second and you can rate and review this show on itunes i would greatly greatly appreciate it we're getting so close to having 200 reviews. So if uh, if you got a second and you listen on iTunes, you could do that. Really, really appreciate that. Nintendo Shack Crew, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Chat, thank you. Twitch, thank you guys for being here with us live. We'll see you guys Tuesday. Remember to come hang out on Sunday night to check out my book. Later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>